kwa sababu Nairobi kama huna mtu ni utafute mahali ya kulala kwanza kisha pia pesa na kwa mingi ukisema hata utaenda Kinyata wale watu wa kukule ni wengi kitambo ufikiwe wewe kwanza inakuwa pia too late ah, so i don't know serikali kama inapanga kutusaidia aje lakini kama hauna pesa hii ugonjwa itakuwa kama hauna pesa ugonjwa itakuwa nilipokuja hapa nilituma kwa ultrasound akapimwa hakupatikana na kitu nikarudishwa tena kwa CT scan alipofanyiwa CT scan ilipatikana kwamba ako na ugonjwa wa kanza ambao ni nephroblastoma nephroblastoma ni kanza ya tumbo ambayo huwa ina affect figo sasa nilipoambiwa hivyo nikafikiria mahali vile nitapata pesa juu vipimo ndio wajue ni kanza ya aina gani ilikuwa ni gali vipimo peke yake viligarimu karibu 1040 vipimo kabla sijaanza matibabu na nilipo alipopimwa ikasemekana nephroblastoma sasa imepatikana kabisa kabisa tulianzishwa chemotherapy hapa Garissa hapa ndio nilipofanywa chemotherapy cycle sita kila wiki mtoto huwa anapewa dawa kila wiki kwa wiki sita na ukiwa unapewa dawa kwa wiki sita unakaa hospitali ilikuwa ni gharama gali juu lazima ununulie mtoto matunda mununulie maziwa yani mtoto akipatwa na huo ugonjwa anakuwa flat Inafi, inaku, unakuwa na changamoto juu ni mgonjwa kila wakati vidonda nina nini lakini community really need to be educated the, the community don't even know there is screening happening so i will really really urge uh, the government to do like a walk day to tell everyone uh, maybe the survivors should wear t-shirts walk on the street tell them that they they survived and uh, early screening and detection is really important so i will really really emphasize on that the message should be passed to the community the community are not aware at all yes that was a very big challenge that we had we had to literally tell everybody to tell everybody and uh, use a a car with our speaker to take patients out of their villages to come for screening which is we free. know how widespread the disease has been and it's so intimate that almost everyone gathered here and everyone living in Garissa, Wajia and Mandera has lost at least one relative to cancer. And having a facility like this so that we can have early diagnosis as well as state of the art treatment is really, really a milestone. Now, because of the prevalence of this disease, the prevalence of this disease and the number of people who have been affected by particular types of cancer, like cancer of the esophagus, which is one of the major killers in this part of the country, or in Kenya as a whole as well, I kept hearing the, 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 the data being mentioned around. We need to have a study into actually what is behind the big number of cases. And if we pinpoint out it's our water, then we'll find ways to rectify that. If we find it is some foods that is causing these, or maybe even, you know, some environmental issues, you know, we, we, we know all the uh, uh, conspiracy theories we've kept throwing around for the last three decades about what is actually causing the cancer. But we need proper studies into this.